Thanks for checking out my YouTube channel. Uh, I signed a deal with Broadband TV and a lot more people are checking out my channel now. It's growing. It's growing faster. Let's see here. See right here. Subscribers. We've got 850. 1850. And uh, I'm getting about 4,000 more total views every day. So people are finding my channel and they're checking it out. I attribute uh, that sudden increase in people watching my videos to uh, a deal that I signed with Broadband TV, uh, which has been really good. Broadband has software that they enable me to use that helps me put together meta tags, and uh, it's good. It's good stuff. I would I would recommend it actually. So anyway, back to the topic at hand, which is my YouTube channel's growing. I've got a controversy. I've had it for a few years now. Let's look at this together. Um, my most popular video was uploaded almost three years ago. And all these others get a few views, or sometimes a lot of views. But this one gets the most views. Three quarters of a million. And what this is about... Let me kill the sound here. Come on, sound. There we go. What this video is about is the Facebook mosquito trap design. You take a two liter bottle, you cut off the top, you put the cone inside, you fill it with a little bit of water, sugar, and yeast, which gives off carbon dioxide, and it's supposed to attract mosquitoes looking to bite a human because of the carbon dioxide given off. It doesn't work. It doesn't work because it wasn't designed that way. I thought maybe this would work to trap wasps or something. So I made this trap and I took it way out in the woods. It was full of mosquitoes. I made several different versions and I found out that the trap did not work as described. Now what I'm getting is a whole bunch of crap from the people in the comments section saying it doesn't work. I'm getting all these negatives. And some positives too, because other people have tried this trap and they were mad about the fact that it didn't work. So they're arguing in the comment section and sometimes they're saying nasty things to each other. It's pretty hilarious. It happens on YouTube. Actually, wherever there's a comment section on the internet, you will have trolls and you will have jokers. And for instance, Major Vox, a year ago, okay, I need to do all this stuff. Okay. And then we've got this guy commenting on Major Box. Anyway, so what I recently discovered was a comment that needed moderation because you can control your comments if you own the video. So I'm going to review these comments. One of them I got a couple days ago from this guy, Sarath Jayakuru in Sri Lanka, the inventor of the presidential award-winning mosquito trap in the year 2000, 17 years ago. This construction is perfect, but the design function is sadly misunderstood. Actually, this is not a trap to catch adult flying mosquitoes, which I think is impossible. The idea is to encourage them to lay eggs in the trap and destroy the larva, and thus prevent exponential multiplication of this insect. A female adult would die in any case, but the potential generations are eliminated for more details, please go to this article, which I did. I rec I'll put it in the comments section so you can see it. Anyway, so I emailed him immediately. Thank you. You're the inventor. Thanks for shedding light on this controversial video. So now I've got explicit instructions from Mr. Jayakuru as to how this thing works. And I've got the equipment I need, which is for two liter bottles of Pepsi. The Pepsi's going down the drain because they only paid 88 cents a bottle and we have to jump on this with both feet. It's July 7th. I think we only have the rest of the summer if we're going to put four of these traps out. I'll modify each one slightly um, but stay with it in the parameters of his suggestions and then we'll see if it catches larva and if it does can the larva get out. This is probably going to take the rest of the summer so I want to get started. Anyway, so if you're one of those detractors who are in my comment section, 
stinking up the joint with your negativity. I'll tell you what I've always told everybody since I put up this video. All right, you know how the trap works. You know how to put it together. You know that it catches mosquitoes. You swear up and down that it does. Put up or shut up. I want a video with flying mosquitoes inside that trap. I want some dead mosquitoes in the trap. I want mosquitoes, not flies, not fruit flies. I want you to prove to me that the trap works. There are enough cameras in the world that you can get a video or you can get a shot. I don't want any kind of nebulous pictures that I've been getting that shows proof. That's not proof. That's like blob squatch. Come on. You can zoom in. You can stabilize the camera. You can get it to work. I know you can. If the trap works, I'm sure you want to shut me up and make me eat my words, which I will do. Otherwise, you lose. Put up or shut up. That's my comment to you, you negative commenters. I ain't scared. Logic is on my side and the inventor of this trap. So that's my uh, take on this. Anyway, I'm happy that my channel is growing. I appreciate all you new subscribers. I got some good stuff in the works and, uh, and a lot of videos in the can that because I didn't have many subscribers when I made them, they really haven't been seen. So I'd like you to subscribe if you haven't. It's free. I'd like you to share the videos that I make that you like with your friends because everybody on YouTube is looking for something unique, something interesting, something uplifting. I know this subject isn't, but we're making progress on it. And, uh, and maybe all the negative commenters will be very uplifted when they find out that the trap, uh, as it appeared on the Facebook video, was, was wrong. It was misguided, and now we've heard from the inventor. So let's all move forward. Subscribe, share. Click like if you like. Click don't like if you don't like it. That's fine with me. I don't care. I just want to get to the bottom of this, and it seems like we're making progress. It seems like we could see the end in sight. 